Okay, so I mentioned something at the very end of my last video that I said I'd address again, so I'm gonna address that now. The idea of flooding, flooding. Um, now, this is only gonna have real potential to flood a stock if only a few things, uh, there's only a few ways for that to actually happen. It's not typical, it's not normal, it's not really something that's gonna happen. Mm, I mean, it can happen by accident. Um, so ultimately, flooding a stock would be similar to like the GameStop. If you're not aware of GameStop, and, oh gosh. <laughs> In uh, 2021, GameStop was a big deal for absolutely no reason. It went way up, went way up. It was it was huge. Um, and then people tried to cash in and couldn't get any money. Um, they had short sold the stock in incredible numbers, flooded it. And ultimately, the numbers looked astronomically huge for a stock that wasn't actually valuable at all. It was such a small amount, um, small valued stock, but it had been pumped up so much. Kind of like, I don't know if you're familiar with Jordan Belfort or familiar with the Wolf of Wall Street, but the old Jordan Belfort pump and dump stock method, right? Okay, so he had this pump and dump. So he would pump it up, basically have all these people buy in and get that value huge. It'd be huge. He'd have all these people buying in, right? Sell, 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 right? He'd get everybody, all their clients to buy some penny stock, some stock that was junk, pink sheets, right? Then they'd buy into the stock. Then after it was highly inflated and it was not even remotely close to realistic, then they would have people start dumping the stock and make huge amounts of money while so many other people walked away with nothing in their pockets, right? <clears throat> the goal was to put as much money in their pocket as fast as possible while leaving nothing in the pockets of the others, right? Okay, so, this, as I said, can happen intentionally if you're someone with in a position of influence, like Jordan Belfort, and uh, Stratton Oakmont um, brokerage firm had a lot of influence in the, in the 80s and 90s, and they had the ability to do this, right? Then you're looking at... Um, in, in 2021, what happened with GameStop was a product of social media. It was Reddit. It was a meme. People started talking about, oh, buy GameStop, buy GameStop, buy GameStop. We were in a pandemic. Who's going to survive the pandemic? People got nothing to do but play video games. Okay, in theory, that like sounds like, okay, well, obviously, GameStop is going to thrive amidst an opportunity for people to do nothing but buy cheap video games and do nothing but sit in their house for months upon months. Well, the problem was, the problem was, is it wasn't real. Yeah, maybe the company actually th thrived at that point. It did. But was the stock valuable? No. See, that's what people miss frequently. They misunderstand what the stock market represents. They think, oh, the stock market is a representation of the company, but it's not. It's a representation of a perceived value of a company. That's why there's million and billion dollar companies, even trillion dollar companies, that their stock trades for a hundred bucks. What does that mean? Doesn't mean anything. Then there's other companies that are million dollar, billion dollar companies that their stock is trading for $12. What does that mean? Nothing. It means their stock isn't sexy. That's what it is. Their stock isn't attractive. It's not appealing. Nobody's interested. Nobody cares about Ford. But people care about Tesla. Tesla's, ooh, Tesla's hot. 
Tesla is attractive. Tesla is appealing. Tesla is cutting edge. Tesla is controversial. Tesla is on the brink of something. Ford is what? It's your typical reliable vehicle. It's a reliable vehicle. Good car, American made. Trucks, cars, SUVs. Why wouldn't the stock be higher? Because it doesn't matter, man. The stock market is, is <laughs> perceived value. It's perceived value of a share, of a fraction, of a piece of the company. It's not what the company is actually valued as, not the worth of the company. A publicly traded company, the value of the company is not dictated by the stock market. The stock market is actually dictated by the consumer, which most people miss that. It's dictated by the consumer who buys and sells on a whim. Very fickle, very temperamental, like some cars. And that's what it comes down to, okay? That's what it comes down to. So when we're talking about these different stocks, we're saying, well, what are they worth? What are they worth? Come on, man. That's such a, it's such an arbitrary number. <sighs> Warren Buffett once said, stock market will lie to you. Well, and it will lie to you consistently if you check the stock market multiple times a day. It's lying to you because it's telling you, oh, the stock went up, oh, the stock went down, oh, it's up, oh, it's down, and it means nothing. It doesn't mean anything. It's perceived value. Not real value, perceived. Not real, perceived. So what happened with GameStop? It was inflated. What happened with the pump and dump? It inflated. The difference is, is GameStop, well, some people might, conspiracy theorists, might say it was intentional. I know some people, even members of my family, who are like, yeah, at least we stuck it to the big guy for once. No, the truth is all the little guys are the ones who got stuck to them. The big guys knew better. The big guys never bought into Never bought into GameStop. Berkshire Hathaway, never bought into GameStop. No. <laughs> no hedge fund or big brokerage bought into GameStop. You had Robinhood short selling GameStop, ultimately over leveraging themselves based on what? Based on a meme fluke. Somebody on Reddit said it was a good idea. People in position of influence can flood the market by inflating prices accidentally. Elon Musk does it all the time. <laughs> Elon Musk is the one guy that I know that can literally sit on a stage in a big venue huge hall. They're all, you know, hundreds, thousands of people, millions of people tuning in to watch online. And he can flat out tell people, I would never buy Tesla stock. I do not encourage you to buy Tesla stock. I don't think it's what you should do. And then somehow the next day, the price go up of the stock. Why? Because he's the one guy who can say, don't buy my stock. And what are they going to do? They're going to buy it. Because it's driven by the consumer. The consumer's not rational. It's just not. So can the market be flooded? Yes. Has it been before? Oh my gosh, absolutely. Will it be again? Ooh, yeah. Will it be by you? Probably not. I mean, but it could be. I don't know. Maybe you've got more influence than I do. Maybe you know the right people. Maybe you got more people listening to you than I do. I don't know. I try to tread lightly and be careful with the tips that I give so I don't give too many specifics and direct because I don't ever know how far 
one of my videos could, you know, get so many views while another one gets three, four, five times that amount of views. And, you know, I never know which one's going to be the one that really just sinks in. And I don't want to be ever misquoted for having told y'all to flood the market, for having told y'all to unwisely invest. I always, 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 100% of the time, tell you, do your research and know what you're buying into. Know what you're getting yourself into. Know how deep that rabbit hole goes before you start poking at it. It's your boy. I hope this makes sense. I hope it helps you. I hope it sinks in a little bit. Let it marinate. Woo, let that marinate. You know what I'm saying? Like a good brisket. And take your time to think about how what you say on social media, what you say to your friends and homeboys and family, and think about the influence that you may or may not have. Think about the, how the influence that others have on yourself. Because if you don't consider how others influence you and you're always thinking from the, well, I don't wanna influence this person the wrong way or this way or that way, I wanna make sure that I'm keeping things on the level. How many people influence you the wrong way just because you're a little bit more open than you should be in the trust arena and You're allowing your emotions and your ego get in the way instead of keeping your head in the game and managing your risk. All right, let it sink in. It's your boy. Have a great day. Be blessed. Let's go out and win. You know what I'm saying? Today. Today you win. Today. Let's get cocky and get it done. Boom.